Welcome back, Stephanie. Well, hello, Keith. Are you ready for Samurai I, in Los Angeles? <laughs> I never thought someone would ask me that before. <laughs> I'm definitely ready for that. This is your periodic reminder that this game takes place in Los Angeles, according to the localization. Wink. Wink. <laughs> Wink. Turn about Samurai. I've been to Los Angeles. It definitely looks like this. Yeah. Ah, you have disgraced me for the last time. The pale moon in the sky cries for your blood. Damn. This is... It's hype as fuck. Me? The moon? No, it is you who should gaze upon the moon. For it is you... It will be the last moon you will see. Ha! <laughs> that's, that's devious. Whoa! What? See you in hell, evil ma magistrate, I think it said. Ooh! <laughs> Gra! The warrior's sword gleams to strike in the moonlight. One has fallen, but who? <gasps> Only the moon knows. Don't miss next week's exciting episode. The dark messenger returns. Is this Samurai Shampoo? That guy looks like Ultraman. Or whatever. Oh yeah, we have we have mess uh, things that people say to satisfy. There we go. Then we can see the art past the text. Look at you! Look at you taking you people's October fourteenth criticisms. Four we skipped your birthday. Damn it! <laughs> we were in October now. Yeah, in the last case, we were very close to we it, also and I was wondering the if it would uncomfortable show up. date that was coming up in a couple days. <laughs> 9-11. We skipped all of September. <laughs> we had his first couple of cases ever in like three days where it's like your best friend's on trial for murder. And now, you're, now your mentor is murdered and you're on trial for her murder. And then we skip. Like, that'll well, that'll we, happen like a week. We figured out that canonically in this universe, each trial has to be solved in fucking three days. Yeah. So it starts and begins and ends in but three all that, days. But, all, but then even those two cases were back to back and it came went, and went so fast, but suddenly it's a month later. We're an older, more mature Phoenix, right? From a different era. From a whole different, a whole month. A whole month's yeah. different. That rocked. See you in hell, evil magistrate. Maya, don't curse. Whoa, <laughs> stop waving that broom around. Oh, Nick! I didn't know you were here. Of course I'm here. What was that surreal show you were watching? What? Nick, you mean you don't know JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? <laughs> JoJo's Whoa. Bizarre Adventure. He's the only the most popular TV hero for young people. Because you're not fucking young. <laughs> yeah. Young? Like, how young? Was that the intro, by the way? Like, this would be like our... This would be like our first time not knowing the murderer. Or even what the fuck the crime no, is. No, 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 that was the TV show. She was watching a TV show. Yeah, but I'm like, I think that's the part of each episode where it shows us the murder happen. I don't think that's the murder in this, in this, in this case. Uh, uh, no, I'm saying like, but because that's usually like, we load up the, the chapter and then it's like, bam, murder. Does that mean we don't see that this time? We have to actually solve a murder for once? Um, I don't know. It Maybe. might happen later. Young, like how young? Um, 10 years old. What the heck are you doing getting all excited? Don't you know Pokemon's for kids? Fuck off. Only kids? Hey, I'm and only Animal seven. Animal Crossing's for kids? Hey, old only man. Only kids? You're no, one, no one above the age of 18 is allowed to play things for kids. You're a... Uh, That's how games work. You're hitting me right in the heart, Keith. Those are all my favorite <laughs> things. Hey, I'm only 17, punk ass. That's 17, see? I'm a teen, not like you, Nick. Damn. Hey, don't talk to me like I'm your grandpa or something. I'm only 24 myself. Then watch it with me. He's really cool, and it's really popular. When they asked grade school kids what they wanted to be, Steel Samurai was number one. I really worried about kids these days. Gramps. I well, mean, it's like kids these days. That's just... You're doing it to yourself, man. Well, the, the Steel Samurai is over. I guess it's time to close up the office. I guess. Wish we had some clients. Hey, you just sit here all day watching cartoons? Yeah, it turns out, like, business dries up when your boss gets murdered and then you're accused of the murder of the boss. <laughs> that's not yeah, that's great not really, for your yeah. law office. <laughs> <laughs> it's good for selling hotel tickets and, like, getting people to eat at a restaurant. Because, like, oh, it's the murder restaurant. But, like, rep criminal representation, I don't know about that. <laughs> A month has passed since my trial. 
Mia's murder was the talk of the town for some time. But no one paid any attention to the Wright & Co. law offices. Aww. How am I going to pay the rent this month? Aww. Not to mention all those student loans from <laughs> okay. law school. For law school, yeah. <laughs> It'll be okay. Mom will help you. <laughs> I'm sure some big clients just around the corner. Harumph. Two days later, 8.16 a.m. 8.14 a.m. Phoenix Wright's bedroom. <laughs> 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 I'm a Phoenix <laughs> Hello, this is Phoenix. N Nick! Maya, what? It's still early. I- it's- it's the Steel Samurai! The Steel Samurai got arrested! Huh? You mean the guy on that show? Yes! They're saying that the Steel Samurai killed a villain! <laughs> um... <laughs> isn't that what he's supposed to do? Yeah, on TV! Yeah, on- on TV? <laughs> No, I mean, he actually did it in real life. He skewered a villain with his samurai spear. Well, that's not really. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Uh, see, a samurai phoenix is... <laughs> <laughs> you don't know because you're from L.A. But <laughs> Just come to the office. Quick, please, Nick. We don't get to see his bedroom. Oh, I want to see it. It's got a bunch of, like, dorky-ass... Law posters on the wall. Welcome to Nick's sex dungeon. <laughs> oh, goodness. On this wall, you can see the Nickelback poster. <laughs> oh, no. Sign me out. You ever been on a date and you walk in and you see a Nickelback poster above a guy's bed? You walk out. Maya's here, watching television. Now for the morning news. The actor Will Powers was arrested yesterday. Powers played the lead role. Will Power. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. In the popular kids' show, The Steel Samurai, warrior of Neo Old Tokyo. New Old Tokyo? <laughs> he was arrested on suspicion of murder. The victim was Jack Hammer. <laughs> but like how that's his real name and not his in show name, because it's definitely an in show yeah, kind of name. Because the character's <laughs> name is Evil Magistrate. The victim was Jack Hammer, who plays the villain known as the Evil Magistrate. His body was found still inside the Evil Magistrate costume. The samurai spear was also found stuck through the body. <coughs> Bless you. Uh -uh. Police believe this was the murder weapon and are investigating further. Spears make me sneeze. <laughs> I like how they just named the, the weapon the samurai spear. That's not creative at all. It's not like it's not like lunar spear or like something cool. It's like samurai spear. The spear of the North Star. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this has to be a joke. No, no, no. It's a nightmare. The Steel Samurai is over! The world is over! <laughs> Phoenix, funny people can die and murder too. Crimes can still happen even if it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right in code law offices. I like the suggestion that the prop spear was a real spear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Apparently. That's not, you know, that's a little dangerous. Like, they're a bunch but... of Super Sentai people and cartoonish plastic costumes and then just a real weapon. <laughs> Hey man, they have to get the accuracy and the weight right when they're swinging that thing around. Yeah. What? Maybe that maybe it was just like a Tiger King problem. <laughs> 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 like, oh, this is safe. See? Oops. <laughs> oh. Or or um or the crow. It's sad because you ever seen the crow? It's sad because that was real. Yeah, that, uh, that's what happened in the crow. No, I've never seen the to Bruce Lee's kid, Brandon Lee. It was during a, a scene in that movie you can actually watch where they use a fake gun, but it had a real bullet in it, and he gets shot and he dies on set. Oh, but they don't show. Obviously, they don't show that. In the yeah, movie. yeah. But uh, people, people to this day like debate if that was like somebody set it up that way. But Brandon Lee died while filming The Crow. Is this the the crow that I'm thinking of? That's like the villain movie with the guy with the pale skin and stuff, or is yeah, it like a different super martial sexy, arts movie or something? A uh, really pale guy who gets revenge for his uh, murdered girlfriend. Yeah, comes back from the dead to get revenge. Yeah, that's probably the right one. Yeah, I think there's only one. But anyways, good movie. Yeah, <clears throat> Nick, it, it's the Steel Samurai. What? Yes. 
Yeah, yes, of course. We'll be right there. He'll be, he's just going to be like, I saw how you got uh, got yourself off the hook from murdering your boss. So I was hoping you could get, get me, me off the, the hook from murdering. From murdering. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely did it. <laughs> Let's go, Nick. Go? Go where? They have the Seal Samurai down in detention. So what? So, I've decided this will be our first case. Duh. It's my third case. <laughs> well, our first case. <laughs> It'll be our first case. I wonder how long she's gonna stay like mm -hmm. that. Maybe she'll pass out if I wait long enough. She's holding her breath because she's mad at you. That's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> you ever just do that? You ever just hold your breath because you're so mad? <laughs> I'm not a toddler. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm not a toddler that's to <laughs> was told they can't have that cereal toy. Keith, you can't have that cereal toy. Next, you fall on your back and you start thrashing your arms and legs and screaming. I've seen you do that in real life, right in the middle of a safe mart. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be very loud. <laughs> yeah, I walked away. <laughs> it's a nice day outside. The hotel across the way is always full these days. Oh yeah, because of the murder. There's the bellboy, happily cleaning the room. <laughs> How, what is this universe where you can just perfectly see from window to window? You know, that's BS, because when they went into her hotel room, they said they, you couldn't see anything. Did, wasn't, yeah. wasn't that a plot? Wasn't there that, was a plot point yeah, that you wouldn't fuck? be able to see clearly, but then the entire rest of the case was about being able to see clearly. Yeah, and I, I was like, so why did they disregard they just never that? Came up again? Mia's favorite potted plant. It's gonna be really sad when it dies over the course of the next few days. Well, apparently Maya's been overwatering it. Maya's been watering it so much lately, it looks like it's a little swollen. I don't think that's how that plants plant looks work. swole. Swole. She's either trying to make it grow, or she's perfecting her water torture technique. Waterboarding. Damn. Maya, take it easy. A poster of an old movie, Mia liked. I was thinking I should go see it myself. Then I realized the poster doesn't actually say the title of the movie. It's your problem. That it's is canon. that is my problem. It's canon. There's a horrendous amount of legal books here. Oopsie. Scarier still is the thought that I have to read all these now. I don't think anyone does. <laughs> don't worry. Just pretend you did. That's what I do with my books too. Mia's desk, actually. It's my desk now. Sitting here always makes me feel like a professional. Plot. You're a lawyer, Phoenix. Plot twist. He actually did kill Mia so he can have that desk. He wants the desk. I feel like I used to look around this room and now I can't. Didn't I used to be able to scroll to the right? Yeah. Well, or, I mean... Or did we... Or, wait. Were we, were we only able to scroll the screen in the first place we yeah. were located in the entire game so far? Nope. And, it, and it didn't matter? <laughs> we were able to scroll the screen when Ma Mia got murdered. Yeah. Um, but I don't think it's there's there's no point to it now, so it doesn't really let you. Yeah, Phoenix only looks to his right when it's important. Otherwise, he's Phoenix left. <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix wrong. <laughs> well, what should we do? What should we do? How can you just sit there like that? We have to get down to the detention center and meet the Steel Samurai. Does she want to investigate this case, or just do something some sightseeing? I wonder. My money's on sightseeing. She's so cute. I love her. We don't have enough information to make a case yet. Just admit it. You don't have a clue what happened. No. No! We just don't have enough information. That's what those words mean. <laughs> you fool. Don't test me. I got you a present. <laughs> what about this? You like showing that off, don't you, Nick? My poor, poor ego. <laughs> it's so small. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> the pin is very small. Uh, <clears throat> detention center. With the one guy. <clears throat> Always the one guy. Apparently, uh, if I trust comments, this was a Game Boy Advance game. Yeah, no, I knew that. Only came, it only went to DS later. Like, they ported this oh. game to the DS, and I think its sequels were on DS. I remember it being But I guess this Boy. game was on Game Boy Advance, and I'm like, wow, that's even less screen shit space to work with than ever before. So they must have redone the visuals? Or they probably redid them for the DS, and then we're getting those. Probably. Because they probably have the original files just sitting around still, the little paintings, maybe. Because, yeah, if they poured it, the visuals directly from the DS, <clears throat> it could not look like this. <laughs> that, that game, that console had like 20 pixels in height. 
Uh, but they did the same thing with the 999, where it was like all the original paint work was all there. And I think they just poured it over without having to redo it. Ooh. Oh my god! It's Huge Jacked Man. <laughs> he does look like Huge Jackman. <laughs> <clears throat> What's wrong, Maya? It's him, in the flesh. Um, is that guy really him? What do you mean, that guy? Of course it's him. He's hairy and gross. Will Powers, our client, that's him. Um, maybe I shouldn't be saying this. But he definitely did it. Murder, at least once, maybe twice. <laughs> he just looks like a murderer. <laughs> whoa, Pro whoa, profiling. Whoa. What are you saying? Um... Y yes Something wrong? Oh, he's actually got a kind face. N no no. This is getting off to a great start. I know. Oh, was that do you? I know, I know. <laughs> You're disappointed, aren't you? D d disappointed? Oh no, no, no. No, it's okay. This is the real me. When I uh, when I got the part of the steel samurai with with that mask. I decided I'd never show my face in public until the job was over. Ever? It's the kids, you know. I didn't want to wreck their dreams. With my ugly face. <laughs> oh. He's got a vil He looks like... Well, he looks exactly like Wolverine. He, does, yeah, they, he just is Wolverine. There is no way they didn't do that on purpose, because they get, like si sideburns are so specific. Yeah. Like, not no, it's so specific. It's so specific. I guess it didn't matter. So much for dreams. Aww. I wonder what they think of the Steel Samurai now. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, Nick. What? He's a good guy. I mean, he's good. He flipped so fast. Yeah. He didn't do it. <laughs> Once again, not the defense attorney's job. <laughs> That's not how defense attorneys work. He did it. Kill him. <laughs> Just turn on him on the spot. His, uh, uh, go see how the guy's doing, our best friend. Yeah. This guard monitors the visitor's room. He seems frozen in awe of Will Powers. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> Even though he never looks in any direction. I like how, like, the first time it's like, oh, because he's a professional. The second time is because he had a pretty girl in the room with him. Yeah. He didn't, he was frozen because he doesn't see pretty girls like that very often. Yeah. And this time it's because he's in awe. <laughs> he's always frozen due to whoever's in the room. That is. Except Harry Butthole friend who, like, he, he couldn't inspire any kind of awe. So it had to be his utmost professionalism. <laughs> yeah. Aww. Maybe you could start by telling us what happened. I yes, of course. It seems like I was only yesterday. Actually, it was only yesterday. The cast had come down to Global Studios for a run-through. We went through a few action sequences at 10 o'clock that morning. There was a rehearsal scheduled for 5 in the afternoon. But when 5 came around, and the staff gathered at the studio, the evil magistrate was found lying in a crumpled heap near the set. That's a hole. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> that's what wounds look like. <laughs> well, I think that uh, he's wearing like a suit, so I think he just like went through the suit, but they don't want to oh, show. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's probably, yeah. I was going to say, like, how fucking pex he's, is he? He's not really that buff, you know. <laughs> or is he? I don't know. They took off his mask and discovered that it was Jack Hammer, dead. He had been expertly skewered with the samurai spear. Expertly. The samurai spear? Yes, it was a long spear that I... that the steel samurai used as a weapon. Maybe you could explain to me just what the steel samurai is. Nick, how could you say such a thing? I... I'm sorry, sir. I apologize for my partner. He's new to this and a bit out of touch with the world. Hey, who's new to this? No, it's alright, really. I make a children's show. <laughs> the Steel Samurai is the lead character in a popular kid's show. What? What? He's got a... Th he keeps doing a pose with his hands where he suddenly has, like, a fucking, like, kerchief coming out of his shirt, it looks like. Or unless he's, like, 
crumpling up his entire shirt every time he does that. But then he cuts to this pose, and he's just got like a wife beater under his like his like popped collar jacket. <laughs> I'll have to like look at that. Every time he puts his hand up, look at his the white stuff in the middle, and like it's like it, it usually comes and goes so fast I can't tell what's do, going on, but it's like not what he's wearing. I like that he, uh, that thing on his on his uh, jacket is not a pipe, Keith. It's not a pipe. Yeah. That's my art joke, sorry. Oh, this is not a pipe. They <laughs> say, ne pa un pipe, or whatever. <laughs> he walks the street of Neo Old Tokyo, fighting battle after battle against the evil magistrate and his minions. Well, no, I think, he, I think he has a separate napkin and he's pulling it up. Like, he yeah, has it under the table. That's like a massively different pose. Yeah, it's does, he have, does he have fucking, like, tassels coming out of his wrists? <laughs> like, on his, on his jacket? <laughs> is that what the hands of his jacket look like? Of course, he never really defeats the evil magistrate because of syndication. We have to keep <laughs> making this show forever. Although, I guess he did defeat him this time. Is, is that a confession? Is he saying he did it? Because that's what that sounds like to me. He makes this face when he cries. It's confusing. It's not a crying face. That's a sweat. Yeah, drop. but his con but the dialogue is him crying. I don't know, Keith. I can't explain Hugh Jackman to you. <laughs> no one can. He can do everything. He can sing. He can dance. He can act. He can murder. <laughs> see Jackman kill. I I see. Neo old Tokyo. Who comes up with these names? My Maya's like so. I hate to, I hate to break it to you, Phoenix Wright, but <laughs> Maya's so uh, upset that he doesn't know the plot of this. I'm trying to think what the equivalent that is so. Like, what would be the equivalent of that, where you, you would be, like, completely out of touch if you didn't know, like, the basics of it? But also it's a children's program. I was thinking, like, I don't know, well, people, like, dra okay, like, Dragon Ball Z or something, or Pokemon. It's like, oh, I don't know the basic premise of Pokemon. I would be like, where the fuck have you been forever? Even, like, my dad knows, like, the basic yeah, premise it would, of Pokemon. Yeah, it'd probably have to be Pokemon. My Even Dragon Ball Z, like, my, my parents don't know what Dragon Ball Z is, really. Yeah, but they could see it and be like, There's a Dragon spiky Ball Z, boy, right? and he screams and does a punch. Maybe, like, can shoot a thing. They're but fighting like, forever. They, they can't tell you a plot point of the thing. Um, my uncle, my uncle thought that Pac-Man and Pokemon were the same thing, and so when I think I, I told you this story, but when Pokemon Go came out, he thought people were catching ghosts on their phone because he thought that he was like, <laughs> he was like, he was like, I can't see how that would be very fun. It's like, what do you get, like little little dots? And I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah, like little dots and ghosts and stuff. And I said. Uncle Chris, you talking about Pac-Man? And he's like, yeah, Pac-Man. Pac-Mon. And I was like, no. <laughs> and he's like, you know, like, waka waka. And I'm like, no. <laughs> waka waka. <laughs> it's I, just fuzzy bear you chasing ghosts. I, I, I love that. that. I laughed so hard. Pac-Man. He's like, yeah, Pac-Man. Pac the more Japanese Pac it's pronounced, the more more possible to convince, confuse them it is. <laughs> <laughs> but in English, it's Pac-Man and Pokemon. It's like so. It's actually pretty far off. He's, he's kind of got like an accent though. So he's like, yeah, yeah. like pac a man Like I'm a like, pac man And I'm like, no, <laughs> Uncle Chris. You no. gotta catch them all in the Pac-Man. The ghost game. <laughs> I said that actually would be really boring if you just go around clicking dots and ghosts. <laughs> No, that no, it, you, oh, they could do that. Uh, what, they, what, the, what would that be though? That's like a walking aid. It would be the equivalent of the zombie apocalypse uh, walking games, where you uh, there's like an audio drama playing in your ear, and you like go to these and those those outposts to like get supplies and stuff like that, and like you find out like oh no, the zombie horde's coming, and you gotta run, and you have to actually run in order to keep, in order to keep winning at the game. <laughs> like it's to help. It's to help. It's 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 supposed to be, encourage the kind of intervals you go in where you like walk and run and walk and run when you're like actually like on a long like on a long term like exercise thing for the day or or whatever. But uh, yeah, it'd just be like a ghost coming after you, <laughs> <laughs> or like oh you got a power pellet. You run to catch the ghost now and stuff like that. Oh like, no, Clyde! Totally that. Clyde's on his way. In fact. A city, Inky, pinky. A, like a suburban like grid pinky or whatever would look like a Pac-Man board. Kinda, yeah. You can totally play Pac-Man in your local neighborhood. <laughs> 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 they could, this, this could happen. Someone get on it. 
And just call it something else so that Namco can't sue you. You got a power pellet, now every other player has to run away from you. Yeah. Because now we, you're the ghost. We played Pac-Man Battle Royale at a bar like a month ago now. That was fucking fun. That, that was a- that I was, was getting hyped. That was strange. It was, yeah, it was four-player competitive Pac-Man where if you got a power pellet you could eat the other Pac-Man. Pac-Man. <laughs> I don't like, pa -pac I don't like pluralizing Pac-Man. Pac it legitimizes him too much. <laughs> it's like a race <laughs> of the Pac-Man. Look at all those Pac-Men with their waka wakas. Yeah. Powers alibi. Now where were you on the day of the murder? Well, that monitoring I can't... <laughs> that mon <laughs> all right. Well, that morning I came to the studios at 9 o'clock. Ah! <laughs> what a pose. What is that? What's look look at that lady in the background. Oh! Ah! It was with the sword. Looks so strange. It's special. There's a lot to unpack here, and he's definitely just Hugh Jackman. Oh, they broke the spear. The spear's broken. What? He, Hugh Jackman's holding the spear. Oh, it is broken. But You're it's right. broken, yeah. Hey. I was just thinking, like, oh, wow, 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 Didn't, uh... I want to say X-Men came out in, like, 1998. And that was the beginning of Hugh Jackman, wife beater, muscle man. Uh, I mean, wife beater shirt, <laughs> not, not wife beater, <laughs> man. <laughs> uh, like, that look was established in like, I think 98 or 99, and this game t came out in 2001. Well, I mean, that that look exists before Hugh Jackman. Yeah, but that's exactly Hugh Jackman. Well, no, no, <laughs> that's no, a drawing yeah, of Hugh Jackman. Yeah, his face and his hair and everything. <laughs> that is a drawing of Hugh Jackman playing Wolverine. Yeah. And he played Wolverine like the year or two before this game came out. And that was the... No, that's probably for sure. That's what, yeah, for, that's like, when that uh, became a thing. Yeah, I believe it. We worked through some action scenes until noon. Rehearsal was to begin at five o'clock, but I was a little tired. So after lunch, I took a nap in my dressing room. What is that cap for? It's the bald cap with the the bun on it. Doesn't he wear a mask? Well, he does, but he has to wear that too. I thought it was just a helmet. Like I, was, I don't when know. When I woke up, it was after five o'clock. I was late for rehearsal. I hurried to the studio and found everyone looking shocked. They arrested me on the spot and brought me here. Did literally no one, like, was no one there? Like, well, I guess no one everyone was there. Everyone, like, broke for, like, lunch and stuff. Yeah. Uh. And our character has a terrible alibi because he went al off alone and went to sleep. Just because <laughs> and, you're... And was just gone the entire time. Just because you're playing that character doesn't mean you're actually, like, a murderous asshole. I really think that the people that you work with probably know that you probably, like, it doesn't inherently mean you're, it's you just because you play the character that would defeat oh, yeah. this character. Like, the fact that he's suspected of murder just because the guy got stabbed by his w weapon. Oh, look, okay, and there's the spear best tape on it. Yeah. We're totally gonna find out it got broken and somebody took care of it, and, like, so th that's gonna probably be his best alibi, is that he pr doesn't... We're, this, uh... This case is probably gonna be about the chain of custody of the spear. Okay, I'm already- I'm gonna put in my vote. I blame this lady on the left. She was the one screaming in the background yeah, in the last scene. We haven't even met her yet, but she's the villain. I don't like her. <laughs> don't even know her name. She hasn't said a word yet. I don't like her- She might not even be in the her case. Her stupid tracksuit. <laughs> <laughs> You just want to see her get- you just- that's the, you're just picking which character you want to see do their evil face when they crack. I just want to do <laughs> uh, her voice. Yeah. They arrested me on the spot and brought me here. So he was sleeping the entire afternoon of the murder. Some action hero. He's an actor. What will the kids think, Sniff? <laughs> I think I should probably check out the scene of the murder. Right. Hey, what is that? Ah, stop, stop taking it away. Yeah, I think he's just got a handkerchief. No, no, it's, it's, a, it's a handkerchief, dude. Yeah. He's just holding a handkerchief. Where does he keep it? And under the table, he's got it in his hands. He's going like this. He's like pulling it up. People have a lot of like personal belongings for be being in jail in these. <laughs> the cop was pitying him. Yeah. And letting him cry <laughs> like a man. Right. Global Studios. I'll draw you a map. Wow, Nick. Let's go. I'm willing to bet ten bucks she asks for autographs. We're gonna go to Global Studios. Where could it be? Everywhere. It's global. I have nothing at all. Yep. All right. What's it like there, you think? 
Yep, that's a gate. <laughs> that's, the that's the soundtrack I would use in LA. <laughs> it's that drum. It's, it's pretty. It's pretty jamming. I'm, I'm digging yeah, it. No, it's fucking. It's like it's Ninja Gaiden music. <laughs> This will like play that, that was the that was straight up like the Ninja Gaiden video game intro when we saw that thing in the beginning, the scrolling the parallax scrolling people where it's like here's the hero and the villain and the moon in the background and the and the tall grass mm -hmm. like that's just how Ninja Gaiden games start <laughs> every time since like, since like the NES I think this sounds like the music KK Slider made for my house in Animal Crossing Aww. but he but he sings over it wah, 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 <laughs> like that. <clears throat> Uh, wow! So this is where they make the Steel Samurai show! Awesome! Aren't you excited? Oh, oh my gosh, it is her! Old, Old Bag! Bag. <coughs> What's, is that her name? Her name's Old Bag. 